Dennis and Brenda Cox arrive early on game nights at Flower Mound Arena, which isn't the house that Lauren Cox built, but it sure looks like it. The 2016 National Player of the Year set school records with 44 points in a game, 762 in a season, 2,354 in her Lady Jag career. They've got her school records posted up there and pictures and it's fun coming back and reliving and remembering, you know, kind of what she did here. It recognizes her and um, and I think people, you know, acknowledge that, that she kind of brought, um, you know, girls basketball to, you know, another level here at Flower Mound. But it's not just Lauren who put Flower Mound on the map. Sister Whitney now plays at Lubbock Christian. Kaylee is a junior Lady Jag All-American volleyball player committed to Missouri. And freshman Maddie on this night is leading Flower Mound into the district championship game against Irving MacArthur. Ready for a district championship tonight? Yes, I'm ready. Dennis and Brenda's first stop on game night, a hug for Meemaw. I love to watch basketball. Meemaw is Coach Nelson's grandmother. And she's been to every home game that I've ever been to. They're here every time. There's anything for those girls, they live for those girls. She calls all of my kids her kids. Um, when they come up here, uh, when they see her, they give her a big hug. We love me, Ma. And she's always here cheering and keeping stats on her little notebook. 87 years young, Mima is the matriarch of the Lady Jag program. Granddaughter Sherika Nelson is the head coach, and Brenda Cox is its most vocal booster. Take care of the ball! Let's go! This year, Brenda's in charge of the national anthem and the halftime entertainment. But on a night that brought Baylor coach Kim Mulkey to town. Don't get any technicals tonight, all right? Uh, <laughs> watching MacArthur's future Lady Bears, Sarah Andrews and McDonald's All-American Hannah Gusters. Brenda, who played college basketball at SMU, was all business, coaching her freshman Maddie from the stands. You gotta go to the basket, Maddie! My mom and dad are usually like very chill at my volleyball games, but when it comes to basketball, they are very vocal. <laughs> she yells so much during the game, so I just try to kind of block her out. Yeah, she just gave him the thumbs up. Do you like sitting with them? No. Why? My ears hurt after, especially by my mom. <laughs> Go to the basket! My mom is just so loud during the games, and she like whistles too. And it's just like my ears, like, <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I enjoy it. Get a stop, let's go! When you have four girls when they're toddlers, um, you're just trying to keep them busy, right? You're trying to put them in sports. You kind of do what you know. Um, Dennis and I both played basketball, so we're like, hey, here's a ball, and you know, here we go. And here the Cox family goes on road trip after road trip this time of the year. We're traveling to Waco, we're traveling to Lubbock. Um, we're still trying to fit in the club volleyball. It's, it's a fun time, but um, it's, it's a lot of miles on the cars. <laughs> 291,319 to be exact on the 2002 Suburban that is older than some members of the family. A Suburban with a Tahoe door. After Maddie's game in Flower Mound Tuesday, the family went to Waco on Wednesday for Lawrence Baylor game. While Whitney's Lubbock Christian team played in Fort Smith Thursday, Kaylee and mom went to club volleyball in Kansas City Friday through Sunday. Dad saw Whitney play in Oklahoma City Saturday afternoon and Lawrence Baylor game in Stillwater Saturday night. And they'll be back home for Maddie's first ever Flower Mound playoff game Monday in Colleyville against South Lake Carroll. It's kind of surreal at times looking back at what they're what they've done and what they're doing. Um, we're super proud of them. They work really hard, um, but they're pretty humble. Um, Lauren is probably one of the most humble kids I know. We're a pretty competitive family. If we're playing a board game, if we're out on the basketball court out in front of our house, just playing horse or something like that, it's somebody may walk away crying. It's crazy. We fight, we argue, we sometimes it even gets physical. Somebody may walk away, you know, 
talking a little, you know, but uh, it's it's all fun, and um, I think it's brought our family closer together. So what advice do the busiest sports parents have for other youth sports parents? Enjoy it, first of all. Um, communicate and keep a calendar. Keep more than one calendar. <laughs> have fun with it. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. That was going to be my advice to you. Being an empty nester myself, I miss this so much. <laughs> well, yeah. we can put you, you know, on a schedule. We can, you know, if you want to take somebody to a tournament I sometime. To. I would love to. <laughs>